am Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about how to pronounce the ED endings on regular verbs. What do I mean by ED ending? Well, the ED is the marker that we add to the end of a regular verb to show that that verb is in the past tense. Okay? So, for example, if I have the verb start, and I want to tell you what time I started something yesterday, I need to add ed to this verb to put that verb in the past tense. I started at 8 o'clock yesterday. So start plus ed. I started at 8 o'clock. But the question is, how do we pronounce this ed? There are three main ways to pronounce the ed ending. We can pronounce it as id or ed. I pronounce it as id generally. Some people pronounce it as id. This is considered one way. We can also pronounce it as t. And we can pronounce it as t. The pronunciation we use depends on the last sound of the verb that we attach the ed ending to. So, for example, if I have the verb start, which ends in the sound t, when I add ed to it, that ed will sound like id or ed. Started. Started. Notice that I get an extra syllable with the ed. When I had the word start, it was one syllable or one beat. Start. But when I added ed, I got a second syllable or a second beat. Started. Started. Okay? So with either of these, I get an extra syllable. So, the verb start ends in the sound t. So, ed sounded like id. If I have a different verb, however, if I have the verb talk, and I add ed to it, the ed will sound like t. And the reason for that is because the last sound in talk is a k sound. That is different from the last sound in start. In start, the last sound was t. In talk, the last sound is k. So when I have a verb whose last sound is k, and I add ed, that ed will sound like t. This word is pronounced talked. Talk. If I have a word, however, that has a different ending sound, and I will write the word play here, which ends in a vowel sound. Play, a, the last sound here is a vowel, a. When I add ed to this word, the ed ending will sound like D. This word is played. Played. And it sounds like d because the word play ended in a vowel sound. There are many other sounds in these categories, so I would like to show you those sounds and tell you which ones will produce t for the ed ending, which will pronounce d for the ed ending, and which will pronounce id for the ed ending. The ed sounds like t if the verb ends in a voiceless consonant. All of 
these sounds here are voiceless consonants. So when a verb ends in any one of these sounds, and then we add ed to that verb, that ed will sound like t. Let's go through some of these examples. With the sound p, I have the verb jump. It ends in p, jump. And the verb stop. They both end in the p sound. So if I add ed to either one of these, that ed will sound like t. So if I add ed here, this word would be jumped. Jumped. If I add ed here, this word is stopped. Stopped. If my verb ends in is in the word book or the word work and I add ed, the ed sounds like t. This would be booked, booked. I booked a room at the hotel. This is worked, worked. So for each of these, when I add this ed, that ed sounds like t, worked. I worked hard all day. When the verb ends in the sound f, the ed will sound like t. So both of these words end in the f sound. Notice that the word does not have to end in the letter f. This is an f. The word does not have to end in the letter F, as in this word, stuff. It can end in other letters, as long as the sound is the F sound. So when I add ED here, I get stuffed. Stuffed. This word would be laughed. Laughed. I laughed hard at the joke. When the word ends in the th sound, ed will sound like t. The ends in th froth. The horse frothed at the mouth. Frothed. This is bequeath. Bequeath. With the ed ending, it would be bequeathed. If the verb ends in the sound. The ed sounds like t, so this would be crossed, crossed. This would be danced, danced. This would be relaxed, relaxed. Notice here again, the spelling does not have to B with the letter S. This is the S sound, but the verb does not have to end in the letter S, as in the word cross. It just has to end in the S sound. So here, cross makes the S sound. Here, dance, this letter C, also makes the S sound. Dance. Dance. So when I add ed, I get danced. Danced. Notice here in the word relax, the x, the letter x, also ends in the s sound. The letter x makes two sounds. It makes a k and a s. Notice the last sound is s. So over here, the letter x makes these two sounds. And the last sound is s. Relax. Relax. So when I add ed, I get the t sound. So this word is relaxed. Relax.
next. If the verb ends in the sh sound, the ed will sound like t. The sh sound often looks like sh, not always, but often. So if I add ed here, I get brushed, brushed. This word without the ed is brush. It ends in sh. This word is publish, publish. So it ends in sh. When I add ed, I get published, published. If the verb ends in the ch sound, then ed will sound like t. The ch sound looks here like ch. This word is attach, attach. When I add ed, I get attached, attached. Here when I add ed, I get touched, touched. To summarize this part, if the verb ends in a voiceless consonant, if the verb ends in a voiceless consonant, ed sounds like t. So each of these sounds represents a voiceless consonant. So when our verb ends in one of these sounds, ed sounds like t. T is also a voiceless consonant. I did not include it in this list here. If the verb ends in t, we get a different sound, and I'll talk about that in another section. Here are some sentences using some of the verbs that I just showed you. So here we have the verb stop, which ends in p. The car stopped at the corner, stopped. Here we have the verb work, which ends in k. He worked hard on the project, worked. Here we have the verb laugh, which ends in he laughed at the funny joke. Laughed. Here we have the verb froth, which ends in the horse, the horse frothed at the mouth. Frothed. Here we have the verb relax, which ends in the sound s. He relaxed after work. Relaxed. Here we have the verb publish, which ends in sh, the sh sound. She finally published her book. Published. Here we have the verb attach, which ends in the ch sound. She attached the file to the email. Attached. The ed ending sounds like d in verbs that end in vowels or voiced consonants. Remember that I mean really vowel sounds or voiced consonant sounds and not the letters necessarily. All of these sounds and all of these sounds are voiced sounds. So when I add ed to any one of these verbs, that ed will sound like d. Okay? So in vowel sounds or voiced consonants. Here I have some examples of verbs which end in vowel sounds. This one, agree, ends in the e. Vowel. So if I add ed, or in this case just a d, it sounds like a 
agreed, agreed, with a d sound. Here, this word is play. The last sound is the vowel sound a. So when I add ed, it sounds like d. Played, played. Here I have a vowel, which, a verb, which ends in the vowel sound o. This is show, show, so it ends in o. When I add ed, it sounds like d. Showed, showed. Here I have a word which ends in the letter y, which makes the vowel sound e. Study, study. So this is making a vowel sound. So when I add an ed ending, it will sound like studied, studied. The spelling changes a little bit. It becomes ied, but the sound is d, studied. So all of these verbs ended in vowel sounds. Here, I have two verbs which end in the sound b, in the voiced sound b. Grab and describe. They both end in the sound b. Notice that many verbs have a silent e at the end, so we don't hear this e. The last sound in this word is the b sound. So when I add the ed ending, I get grabbed, grabbed, and here I get described, described. So with all of these, again, the ed will sound like d. Here I have two words ending in the g voiced sound. I have drag and hug. When I add ed, I get dragged and hugged. Here, these two words end in the voiced consonant sound b. This is breathe and bathe. They both end in the d sound. So when I add ed, I get breathed and bathed, okay? Here I have two verbs which end in the v voiced sound. I have believe and move. When I add ed, I get believed and moved. Okay, again they all end in the d sound. Here I have two words which end in the z sound. I have organize, organize, and refuse, refuse. This is a verb. Notice that the letter s is making the z sound. It is not making a s sound. It's not making a voiceless sound here. This is a verb. It's making the voiced z sound. So when I add ed, I get organized with a d, and I get refused with a d. Okay? Here I have charge and urge. They are making the j sound. So adding ed makes the d sound. Charged, urged. I included this sound here. This is j because it is a voiced sound, but I don't have a verb right now with that. Okay? Here I have some others. I have two words ending in the m sound. The m. I have dream and name. So when I add ed, I get 
dreamed and named. Again, they end in the d sound. Here, my two verbs. Oops. The last part of my J. My two verbs end in the n sound. I have clean and join. When I add ed, I get a d sound. Cleaned. Joined. Here I have two words which end in the mm sound. I have bang and ding. When I add ed, I get a d sound. Banged. Dinged. The driver dinged his car. Here I have two words which end in the er sound. I have care and offer. When I add ed, I get a d sound. Cared. Offered. Okay. And the last two end in the o sound. I have Call and double O. When I add ED, I get a D sound. Called, doubled. So, to summarize, when a verb ends in any one of these voiced consonant sounds, or when the verb ends in a Vowel sound, the ed ending will sound like d. Okay? D is a voiced sound, and these are voiced sounds. Okay? If the verb ends in the sound d, and we add ed, we do not get a d ending, and I will talk about that very soon. Here are some sentences using some of the verbs that I just showed you. This verb, agree, ends in a vowel sound. She agreed to the plan. Agreed. The verb, describe, ends in the b sound. He described the problem. Described. The verb, hug ends in the g sound. She hugged her children. Hugged. The verb bathe ends in the th sound. He bathed in the evening. Bathed. The verb move ends in the v sound. She moved the boxes. Moved. The verb refuse ends in the z sound. He refused to do it. Refused. The verb charged ends in or charge ends in the j sound. The police charged him with a crime. Charged. The verb name ends in the m sound. They named the new chairman. Named. The verb join ends in the n sound. She joined the team. Joined. The verb bang ends in the m mm sound. The boy banged on the drum. Banged. The verb offer ends in the er sound. She offered him the job. Offered. The verb double ends in the o sound. They doubled their
their profit in one year. Doubled. ED sounds like id or ed. If the verb ends in t or d. In this column, I have several verbs which end in the t sound. In this column, I have several verbs which end in the d sound. So when we add ed to any of these verbs, that ed ending will sound like id or ed. I tend to make the id sound, and many people do. Some people, though, might change the vowels slightly and make an ed sound. Either way, though, we get an additional syllable with this sound. And by syllable, I mean an additional beat in the word. So, as an example, the word start is only one syllable, it's one beat. Start. Start. If I add ed, I get an additional syllable or an additional beat. The word becomes started. Started. So, when I add ed to any of these verbs, as long as they end in t or d, the ending will sound like id or ud, and I will get an additional syllable on that verb. Please practice saying these words with me, both with and without the ed ending. Start. Started. Want. Wanted. Now it's two syllables. Admit. That's two syllables already, isn't it? Admit. When I add ed, it will become three syllables. Admitted. Admitted. Okay. Count. Counted. Print. Printed. Report. Reported. Suggest. Suggested. Okay, let's do this column. Add. Added. Fold. Folded. Load. Loaded. Trade. Traded. Depend. Depended. Proceed. Proceeded. Record. Recorded. Okay? So, the ed ending sounds like id when I say it, or ed when some people say it, and we get an additional syllable on that verb uh, once we add that ed ending. Here are some sample sentences using a couple of these verbs. So, the verb print ends in the t sound. He printed the document. Printed. The verb record ends in the d sound. She recorded a video. Here's a summary of the pronunciation rules of the ed ending. If the base word ends in a voiceless consonant, then the ed ending sounds like t. The voiceless consonants are p, k, If the base word ends in a vowel or a voiced consonant, then the ed ending sounds like 
The voiced consonants are B, G, V, Z, Z, J, M, N, O, R, O. If the base word ends in t or d, then the ed ending sounds like id or ed, and it results in an extra syllable on the word. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you'd like more practice with words ending in ed, please take a look at my word list videos. In those videos, I give you lists of words with the ED ending and give you the opportunity to listen to the word and then to practice the word. I have words ending in the T sound, words ending in the D sound, and words ending in the ID sound. So if you'd like some more practice, please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.